Hi, my name's Jamie. I wanted to share a dream I had um, October 6th of this year. And um, it was a quick one. Uh, I'm walking along a river with my dad and we're talking about my grandma who's having health issues and we're worried. And we're deep in conversation and then all of a sudden these shofars are blasting and we're looking across the river and there's a bunch of Jewish people, like a huge crowd um, having a celebration and the shofars are still blasting loud. And my dad's like, what's going on? I was like, oh, that's right. It's, it's their eighth day celebration. It's right after the Feast of Tabernacles. This is kind of like a big day. He's like, yeah, but I don't think I've ever heard so many shofars. And I was like, oh, well, you know, there's a lot of people over there. And then as I'm like saying that, we're suddenly over there. We're amongst them. And there's this huge celebration and it's beautiful. But then all of a sudden people are disappearing. Like I'm looking around, I'm like, I could have swore a person was over there a second ago and more people are disappearing. And then all of a sudden I'm raptured and I'm up above looking down and I'm watching people being raptured. And I'm in awe like, what, what, this is amazing. But as I'm looking, something interesting happens. I'm looking down and there's a few Jewish people within half a second, they put it together. They realize what's going on and they drop to their knees and they repent. And because within that half second, they were able to do that, God raptured them. I saw them right on up with us. And then I'm looking down and I see my dad still down there. And at first I'm kind of worried, like, wait a second, my dad is a huge believer. Why is he still down there? And then I just have this feeling like, keep watching. And as I'm watching, he's walking around looking at all these confused Jewish people who have been left behind. It went from being a huge celebration to just confusion, maybe even fear. And he starts ministering to them. He's saying, do you know what just happened? Do you realize what you just witnessed? You just witnessed the rapture and everyone who's gone believes that Jesus is the Messiah. You are still here because you do not believe he's the Messiah. And he's being very compassionate, but very honest. He's, he's letting them know. And as he's talking, I'm just kind of in a dreamlike state looking around. And there's these beautiful little silvery strands, like from the ground up to the sky. And I'm looking at them and it's wherever someone stood that had been raptured, like this beautiful little silvery trail that their soul left from earth to heaven. And I mean, it's an odd detail, but it was cool. And suddenly the scene just kind of goes dark and I hear my voice calling down to my dad, dad, Jesus is here and he's beautiful, dad. He's so beautiful. And that's the end. Now, the interesting part about this dream is I had this dream the day before Israel got attacked by Hamas. And they got attacked by Hamas on the feast of the eighth day. And I really struggled with this for a while because like, God, my dream was so specific. It was about Jewish people. And I specifically knew it was the eighth day celebration. But instead, I'm waking up to a new day and I'm seeing devastation, loss, death, confusion. And I suddenly realized that wasn't just a rapture dream. Yes, Jesus is coming back soon, very soon. And we should be about his business. But I think he also wants us to be about his people. And we're his people, right? He loves everyone. But the Jewish people, the Israel nation, they, they are his beloved. And yes, they've denied him and they've... Um, kind of just lived on their own without a temple, without any hope for a while. But there are some who believe there are the Messianic Jews. And in my dream, I saw them raptured. And then I even saw the Jews who were curious, you know, the ones that are curious about Jesus and they almost believe, you know, they're so close, but their traditions and their families and fear of being rejected holds them back, right? But when they saw the rapture happening, 
they repented quick and I saw them raptured. But there's still so many that will be left behind. And I just kept feeling like this wasn't just a rapture dream, right? This was a look to Israel, pray for Israel. And the eighth day is a very symbolic day. It is, it's, um, it's about stepping into eternity, right? And every year they celebrate that. And I don't know that they exactly know what it means like we do. And I just think it's time that we really push to share the good news to not just those around us, but to those we've neglected. <laughs>